Tommy, down here at Champs Camp. We'll be getting ready preparation for October 22nd, final yeah, eliminator uh, against um, Matty Askins. Mm -hmm. How's it going, kiddo? Everything's going great, you know, the training's been going perfect. Getting some great sparring here with Big Sam Hayes. And, um, you know, the, we're in, he was in Belfast last week. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're here this week and um, everything's going burning. Well, Sam's getting ready for, he's fighting on the same night as you, yes. but uh, on the other side of Manchester, mm -hmm. where he's going to be fighting Blaze Mendoos. Yeah, so, you know, Sam in great shape, I'm in great shape, you know, we've been doing um, eight rounds, sparring, every, every season sparring, so, you know, everything's going great, I'm feeling burning, and, you know, I've had a great week here in, in the Champs camp, and, um, yeah, can't complain. Well, I think I, I met you, mate, in your debut just over two years mm -hmm. ago now at Dewsbury, well, you, uh, I think you stopped rolling Cessna, didn't you? Yeah, I think right. three rounds. Yeah. And um, uh, you impressed me then. And then I bumped into you again just over a year ago down at Bobby Rimmer's gym. I think you're moving down with Jack Massey there. Yeah. And uh, yeah. you'd not really fought anyone of, of real note, but you'd stopped everyone up until them. And then since then, you've been in with a couple of good kids. Yeah. Uh, Courtney Fry, you beat him first. And yeah. then in your last fight, was it John Lewis Dickinson? That's right, Dave. Yeah. So yeah, the first, the first, my first five fights obviously was um, journeyman. Everyone has to go through that phase when they turn professional, and you know I just cut through all of them, stop them all. But there were guys who nobody, they don't get stopped often. Do you know what I mean? No, I were rolling stairs, yeah. just on eight rounds with uh, no, sorry, six rounds with Jack Massey. Yeah, do you um, know what I mean? Yeah. So um, that was my thing, and um, then we stepped up to Courtney Fred. It was a massive step up from the was. level of the box set. You know, Fred, an, an Olympian, a well-accomplished amateur, and a well-accomplished pro, you know what I mean? So it was a massive step up for me. And um, I won that fit, and I didn't stop him, but I had him down twice, you know what I mm -hmm. mean? Had him down the second, had him down the eighth. And then I boxed another two guys, um, a guy eight and three. Um, Boxed well against him, six rounds went with him, tough guy. And um, and then John Lewis Dickinson. And that was another big step up for me, but you know, that I didn't stop him, but I had him down in the sixth, you know what I mean? So yeah, oh, also in the tenth as well. And then I had him wrapped in the tenth, you know what I mean? So it's like the the punch power is still there, like everybody knows I'm still i still got it, but you know, we just boxed a bit more smart and these guys or better, do you know what I mean? So you're, you're there to go the distance, you used to go on the distance? Well, I, we were chatting with Matty, I think it was last week, and we, we were talking about this, and uh, I, I, he was trying to describe your, your style, and you are very, very relaxed in there. You, 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 you just, you know, it's like you never get flustered. And, and I was just watching some old videos before, and, and, and Kurt and Land, because when you fought John Dickinson, you had your, your dreadlocks, yeah, you had all your dreadlocks there, and, uh, like you say, I told you, go and have a look at him, and yeah, very similar, really, yeah. really nice and relaxed in there. Well, you know, the dreads will be back one day, you know, I just <laughs> had, to, had to have a wee change for a while, but they're definitely coming back. But yeah, I've seen, I seen Maddie's interview. Yeah. Thought, you well, know, you know he thinks he's going to yeah. Yeah, I know, the way he talked about me, I was, I was very surprised, you know, he, he was like trying to belittle me, trying to like, talk with me, like, oh, yeah, like as if I'm shit. In well, I just think he thinks, because you see, it happened to him, you know, he, he got thrown in a little bit earlier, in his, early yeah. on in his but, career. But when I got thrown in early, I've done the business, you know what I mean? That's, that's and, true, so we um, can't dispute that, can we? We can't dispute that, and um, I don't know why, I don't know why Maddie's, why Maddie's game is on. Maybe he's trying to, like, belittle me to make himself feel better, you know what I mean? I don't <laughs> really... Well, I, I don't see that in case, I, I yeah. like Matty, you know, yeah. I, love, I love you, I've, I've yeah. met you twice yeah. before and you've impressed me both times, mate. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I feel like Matty, you know, he's had got that experience, he's what, he's had, yeah, I think he's had experience, you know, twice as many wins as you've had fights at present, hasn't he? I don't know, I mean, he does have, I think he has about 20 something wins. Yeah. So, he's been boxing for a while, but you know, in, your, in the interview that we use, like, oh, there's levels, but there's levels with him too, because when he's given the three opportunities to make a breakthrough, mm. he hasn't taken them, he's fell short every time. You know, I've, I've been stabbed up twice, done the business twice, you know what I mean? And so, you know, 
I want to, as you know, you, you just you start off in the you said that you interviewed me after my debut yeah. just over two years ago. So I've been a pro just a little bit over two years. And here I am in the British Eliminator. Miley's been a professional for almost, well, I think it's eight almost years. Nine years now. Nine, nine years, years, you know what I mean? So if he's still at the same stage as me after nine years. You know, maybe Miley's not as good as what he thinks he is. Yeah. And he's not going to be able to knock me out. Well, this is what, what he thinks is. You know this is what makes this fight so exciting because he's really, he's got to win this fight. He has to win this fight, you know, to, to go to those next levels. You're still young pup, it doesn't yeah, really matter, yeah. you know, but... I'm um, like that. Look, there's no pressure on me. There's never pressure on me. At the end of the day, this has been my 10th contest. You know, if, if I lose, big deal. Uh, we'll talk chalk it up the experience, but I won't lose. If I win, the train keeps on moving. For him, if he loses to me, it's embarrassing for him because I'm a novice pro. And, um, you know, as you're saying, he'll, he'll probably have to retire. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's that's his business. That's nothing to do with me. Look, I'm just going to go in there and do what I do best. You know, I'll just keep winning, keep doing the business. And it's not, it's not a massive step up from my last contest, you know what I mean? No. It's actually well, you know, a level kind of below, because John Lewis thinks it was has, has been accomplished. Massive. Not that, you know, it don't matter if you beat him, but just, if you look at what John Lewis Dickinson's accomplished, he won all the domestic titles, mm -hmm. he won a WBC international title, and you know, he won a British title out of it. John Lewis Dickinson is, you know, the real deal. Matty has won the the English title, and that's in a, in a career that spawned in a decade, you know what I mean? And in the same length of time, Tony Bailey has won every title and won a world title, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Matty obviously, as I said, isn't as good as what he thinks he is. And, you know, this, this isn't a hard fight for me. I'm not worried at all about him. This is really a stepping stone to me getting to where I want to be, which is a world champion. You know, it's a British title eliminator, mm -hmm. and they come along the way, but my ultimate goal is to be the world champion, you know what I mean? So this is just another step along the way. Right, well said, mate. It's the truth, you know what I mean? But I listen, 20 seconds is going to be a cracking night, yeah. I'd say, and I think uh, cruise weight boxing is, is really looking good, looking exciting. Yeah, yeah you know, the, the crew did as well. <laughs> Matty said he's one of the young ones, he thinks he's younger than me. <laughs> Matty's actually one of the older ones. He's 27. There's like me, 25. I'm actually probably one of the older ones. We got Sam, who's 20. I think Sam's 22, 23. We got guys, um, Luke Watkins. I think he's 24. Yeah, it's phenomenal. It's well known. We, we got Jack Massey. Jack Massey, 23. 23. That guy, um, Isaac Chamberlain. Jamie, just one of him. He's, he's 20 much. something. You know what yeah. mean? So the cruiserweight scene's bumbling and it's all these young guys in their early 20s who's all been pro just for a couple of years and we're all, you know, like Trace Chase down the titles in it. So, you know, Matty's one of the elder statesmen and he's like more in the, like, with Camacho well, and him, you know, like, who's been around for years and they're kind of like... In, in the ratings I was looking at, I think you were ranked three, Matty was ranked uh, four. And then Craig uh, Kennedy was ranked fifth. Yeah. So you know you're yeah. top yeah. of the bunch. I'm top of I'm top of top of pops, as they say. But you know this. I've only had nine fights, but in the nine fights, it's been nine good fights. I haven't went through the whole list of journeymen, guys who can't pronounce their names. I did have a couple of those fights, but mm -hmm. everyone does. But I've stepped up and I fought two seasoned, established professionals: Courtney Frey, John Lewis Dickinson. And then well, now the next one is Matty Askins, who's a, who has a name in the scene, do you know what I mean? Well, realistically, you would have expected you to, to do those during them for your first 10 fights. Yeah. And uh, considering, it, I think, was it Courtney, your sixth fight? Yeah. Yeah, you know, and then obviously the last fight with uh, John yeah. Lewis. So, Dickinson. you know, that, that was the, when I first turned for fights, you know, the, the plan was to not take it nice and slow, because I, I turned pro, I was um, 23. So it was like, look, we've got time on our side, we'll get up, build up the 10 and all, and we'll see what happens. But um, my talent just it just took me faster than what well, we, was planned. You people know what I mean? don't, don't know about you. You were uh, quite a highly ranked amateur, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, as an amateur, I was, ranked, I was ranked top 10 in the world when, yeah. I, when I turned over. 
and I uh, had a great amateur career, was part of the high performance. So, like, my amateur career has stood by me, like, in, as I've turned professional. So, mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, it's so all I can say is, get down, this is going to be a cracking night yeah. on the 22nd. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it, you know, if, um, a lot of people are going to be coming over from Belfast, it's, it's an easy trip. And now, um, I think the Marseille community is going to get behind me now. <laughs> now, I've been here for the week, and, um, you know, I love it down here at Champs Camp. I feel like I'm... Gonna, now you've got rid of your dreadlocks, so they're going to get behind you. <laughs> of course, look. Listen to me. It goes deeper than the hair. So, uh, yeah, I love... Jamaican blood in here, Jamaican blood, you know, Jamaican blood, you know what I mean? So, that means they're great. The Jamaican blood, is great. you know, black man blood, we're all going to be great. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it twice second. I'm in great shape. I'm in phenomenal shape. You know, the sparring's going great. The training's been perfect. And uh, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing, you know. And you know, we'll have a good, good, uh, how many long, how many rounds at last? Yeah. Well, normally, I, I mean, Matt is not a VIP fighter anyway. But normally, I'm always saying, you know, good luck to our kid. But yeah. all I can say is, make the best man win. Exactly. See, Matt, I don't get emotionally involved. This is just a sport to me, and so there's, there's no point in me. They're getting all, uh, we're gonna kill, we're gonna do it. May the best man win. At the end of the day, anything can happen on the net. But it's more than likely that the net's gonna be manned because everything that I do, all my ability, is harder to train and as good as what I am. And I'm, I don't mean that being a dickhead and being a big head. <laughs> it's just, I'm a, you know, I'm a gifted boxer. So if everything, if I do everything that I can do, you know it's going to be handy night for me on the 22nd, so I'm looking forward to it. All right. Tommy, right. as I said, may the best man win. May the best man win. Take care, bye-bye. Yeah.